captivated, I say it, I'm on a whole new intrigue My space invaded, upgraded, I hear you talking to me It's in the boom of the thunder, it's in the cool of the So we are currently here at the Precept Conference in the Philippines as you can see, we're currently having a break and we'll probably resume around 4.30 in the afternoon. So we just, we've been learning a lot of things today. And it's been a blessing to just really rediscover God's Word, which we often take for granted nowadays. Night is beautiful, it's got my mind on you. And everywhere I turn is a reminder. So it's the third day here in the Precept Conference in Manila, Philippines and I'm so blessed because I got to meet Kay Arthur wow. and, got, and she hugged me and she came backstage and she really, you know, it was a one-on-one -on -one conversation, really, really awesome. And she even mentioned me in her testimony, in her message, which was really, really cool. So like, I'm so flattered, oh my gosh. So as you can see, delegates, I cannot zoom in. Anyway. We're on a break right now and she's gonna speak about Christ's coming. So, see you there. A few moments later. So, I have been tasked to put the lapel on K. Arthur. And we're like literally alone in the backstage. Like there's nobody here, it's just me. And at exactly 4 o'clock or something like that, I have to do that task. I'm literally going to be fanboying the whole time. Oh my gosh, Lord, help. A few inches later, two hours later, one eternity later. So I am waiting for the lapel moment. Oh my gosh. Lord, help me, please. I called a friend to help me. Oh. 3.55, so apparently I entered. I entered the room and our speaker K. Arthur was sleeping in that room and I didn't know it was her and Ten Ten said it was her so I'm gonna freak it out later because I'm gonna put on her lapel and... A few moments later <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> And that concludes our precept conference here in Manila, Philippines. So they just had their picture. And that's the end of it. So, awesome. So yeah, it's been a very awesome three days. And I definitely look forward to the next one. It's really changed the way I look at God's Word. And God's Word is beautiful. It's amazing. And I can't wait, but you know, look at the future. God called us, and He has a purpose for our lives, so we just have to find it. And God will lead us there. So, this is Reno Santos. Bye. I see you in every